This video is on a chapter of vectors in vector spaces and we are on a chapter of uh, dot products. Uh, in the previous video we saw a particular case where we saw particular vectors, vector u, vector v, vector w, and we were asked to find this value. So we we ended up doing u times w plus v times w. In this video, we are asked to prove that um, the dot product is distributive uh, with addition. So u plus v times w equals u times w plus v times w. Okay, okay, so the proof is so u plus v times w. Following the definition, the, the definition of uh, vector addition is the sum from i1 to n, the components of ui plus vi, inner product with wi is the components of this vector. Okay. Okay, but here it's only dot product, so we only f follow the, the definition of, we just keep the distribution here. Okay. Uh, maybe it is better to, to write it this way. Okay. So ui times wi plus vi times wi. Okay, and this was proved in previous videos. The, the sum of two vectors, the sum of two vectors is the sum of the first vector plus the sum of the second vector. In this case, each summand is a product, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so please check previous videos where I, I already proved this. Okay, but what is this? Um, this is the definition of u times w. And what is this? Well, this is the definition. This here is the definition of v times w. So u plus v times w equals u times w plus v times w. And this concludes the proof. Now we are asked to prove that k scalar times u times v equals k and we can associate the vectors u and v. Okay. The proof is really easy. Okay, the proof is really easy. So k u times v, by definition, that's the sum of k i, i beginning in 1, times v i. Okay, this is the, the definition. Okay, and here we and we proved in a previous video that k that this this operation is associative. So k u i times v i equals k times u i k i. Please check a previous video for this. And oh, sorry, there's a mistake here, right? This is this should be so q u i times v i equals k k k u i times v i equals k times ui vi. Okay? Okay. And you can check a previous video where we saw that the sum of the scalar times a, a vector is equal to the scalar uh, times the sum of the vector. Okay? So, 
what is this k times the sum of ui vi? That's nothing else but k times ui vi. Right? So, k times u times v, this one, equals k times ui vi. And that concludes the proof.